sense. Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to all the dorky diggity goodness on the channel. And if you want to see more, click on that notification button. Now enjoy the video. Another benefit of recognizing the action point is that you're now able to dex earlier and avoid gaining a buff. This comes in very handy for any situation that will punish having a buff like Buffet, Dormammu's Soul Leech, or Domino's Critical Failure. Eh, there's others, but those are just to name a few. But that's not the only use. This is a great way to perform shallow evades on a consistent basis. This is going to come in very, very handy for part two. Now the timing here is basically the same as intercepting with the light attack, except you're holding block and you just swipe from the block as soon as you see movement from that action point. Strike matching. Being able to recognize and counter the final strikes of medium and light attacks are key to giving you another tool to use in your arsenal to counter the opponent. This is a very important skill and a matter of practice, memorization, and study. Understanding combos and how they work is a necessary part of honing this skill though. So at its base and simplest form, combos are two mediums or four lights. Now once you've reached a total of either the two mediums or four lights, the combo is over. Now you can max out at a total of five inputs. Now that's not to be confused with five hits, as some champions have multiple hits for their single inputs. So let's take a look at this. This is what Venom's second medium looks like. So this is what we want to be able to see and strike match so that we can go ahead and counter it on our own. So what we're looking for is that top-down strike, which is right here, and there's your opening. One more time, we've got the first medium there, there is the second one, and open for attack. This is a really great way for you to study the champions, get a feel for how they attack, and counter accordingly. The second part of strike matching is telling the difference between a medium and a light attack. If, for example, you just finished a combo and the AI wants to counter attack, but parry and block are not an option, and so you're left to dex the attack with a dash back. If you were able to recognize that it was a light attack, you can bet almost every time the AI will close that space with a dash, thus making it very easy to intercept. I call this one the two-piece intercept because you have the first hit, and then the second, it's like a, a two-piece. See? Why is this not in the intercept section? Well, because you didn't learn about strike matching yet, so. Anyway, here are a few more examples. And also, you'll find that you can see these right at the beginning of a match, and you can take the advantage right away. I also favor this over the three light attack backdraft intercept. I can get in more hits, and it's safer, but that's just my preference. Be careful though, because the timing isn't always the same. The AI is very, very aware of these kinds of things. And there are some variations in the way that they fight. So as you can see on the right hand side here, Loki pauses for just a second, which is enough to throw the timing off and get you comboed. Into oblivion. So guys, thanks for watching. These are excerpts from the main Instinctive Touch series to help make it a little more digestible. If you want to see more, you can check out the entire full series with over 30 minutes of detailed techniques to have you playing like a god in no time. Part 1 will help you see the AI patterns, while Part 2 gives you the tools you need to counter them. Both links are in the description below. So. If you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, all that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip.